Oh, are there combi around here, maybe? <gasps> there are! Okay, wait. No, I want the combi. Come back. Come back. Come back. Dude, I want to get I want to get a Vespa Queen. Come on. Okay. Eat. Eat. Yeah. Dang, I just got a male one. That's no fun. I need to be going this way. I think. You know what? We're just going for a ride. We're riding through this mighty world. Enjoying the sights to be had. Just like, you know, a true, true explorer of, like, I don't know, maybe time or darkness or, you know, one of those things. Okay, where am I going? <laughs> I should really figure this out. How did I end up over here? <laughs> oh, God. I went the complete opposite direction. All right, let's go back to the diamond settlement. <laughs> I am a good gamer. I, I promise. Is that an alpha lick -a tongue Hey, how about no thanks? <laughs> I hate that. That's disgusting. Because I'm just a big shiny ball of flesh. <gasps> Is that a Ralt? Ralt? Hey, hey buddy. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Hey. Oh god. Oh god. Hey, Haunter. That was rude. Alright. Alright, buddy. You want to battle? We can battle. We can do battle if you wish. Let's go! You and me. Me and you. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> That's bad. Well, I'm so sorry, Chi. I really thought that would have gone better. Um, hey, let's, let's do out Sporky for a minute. <laughs> okay, that works. I, I'm not catching a hunter today, though. Alright, let's, let's do some crafting. Alright, let's make some great balls. Dude, I love some great ball. <laughs> Hold on, I had to go up here. But is there like a way to get around the mountain? I cannot go any farther. What is this bowl? You can always go further. With consent. <laughs> Murkrow! Oh, I want it! Oh, they got the big one! They got the Honchcrow! Oh, Honchcrow, how- what level are you? Can I- fe no, I ca feasibly cannot do that. Oh, hello! Hello, friends! Nope, 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 nope. Time to Dark Souls my way out of here. It's been fun. It's been real. It's been a time. Where am I going? I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> okay, we finally, we finally made it. Okay. <laughs> we finally did the bare minimum. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's catch something that will 100% be way over leveled compared to me. Hi guys! All it took was one of my poultices to get Arezu's leg all patched up. Kalaba, ma'am. I'm deeply sorry we've had to lean on you, your help so much, especially as we're from different clans. Eh, hey, water over the bridge. <laughs> Arezu tried to solve the whole situation herself. I dare say she bit off more than she could chew and caused some trouble, but her heart was in the right place. Listen, the Lady of the Ridge Lilligans is like a dancer. Always in motion, always darting about. You'll want to watch her real close and learn how to dodge her moves. You got it. <laughs> That's right. You keep on dodging, she might get tired out, and that'll be your opening. That's when you can bring out your own Pokemon and prove your might. Don't let me down. For you, hunk, anything. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we're having fun. Or at least I'm having fun. I hope y'all are having fun. <laughs> okay. Cutscene? Some- I heard a review where that's compared the graphics of this to like a Wii game. And I totally get it. And also I'm not upset by it. Mostly for nostalgia purposes, cause man I love the Wii. Oh, you're adorable. How can you be threatening? Nope, still just adorable. Lady of the Ridge. Alright. So we're not gonna have my water types out. Oh, Sparky has Ice, ice Fang. Okay, that'll be really helpful. You cute. What you doing? Oh, shit. Whoa, hello. Woo! Okay, she's going. She's spinning. She getting tired? Okay, okay, now she's sleepy. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, Sparky. Sporky! Sporky. <laughs> Alright, Hayaku. You ready? Cool. Um, oh god. <laughs> I did it wrong. 
Oh god, I'm a fool! I'm a fool! Woo! No! I jumped up! I went towards her! I went towards her! Dude! I went towards her! That's bull! That's such bull! Okay. Woo! I- I dived! Oh no! Oh shoot! Well... Everything went black. That's my first time blacking out in this game. I don't tell me how to dodge her moves. Yes, restart. Wait, continue battle. Yeah, dude, just continue it. You can carry over some of the progress you made on depleting this Pokemon's frenzies gauge. Why would I want to reset the gauge? Dude, keep my progress. I was so close to being done. I got it. We're fine. Woo! I dove. Hey, do not tell me I didn't dive. Okay. We're throwing some food at her. The most peaceful strategy. From what Pokemon is teaching me, in order to calm anything down, you just throw its favorite foods mashed up together, put them in a bag, and just chuck them. You didn't just save Lilligant. You saved Rezu as well. I appreciate it. First was Saluna, now Lilligant. You're amazing, you know that. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean... Yes. <laughs> Being all frenzied didn't suit Lilligant one bit. I'm so happy she's back to her graceful self. Oh, she's adorable! Orezu, you still owe someone an apology. Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember what's written in the Celestia ruins? All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. There's wisdom in those words. I imagine they're the teaching of Almighty Sinnoh itself. Of course, I'd completely forgotten about them until a certain somebody helped me remember. We owe you one, ma'am. Don't try to solve everything by yourself, Arezu. You're a warden. Of all people, you should know how to stand in solidarity with others. It's our job to stand side by side with Pokemon. After all... <laughs> yes, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I can hardly start yelling at you now after Calibur wrapped all that up so nicely. Just one more thing, Arezu. I know you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. But from now on... Do it without keeping things from me. Agreed? Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except maybe to put in some training. If anything else happens to Lilligan, I need you ready to protect her like the warden you are. I understand. Let's work together from now on to keep the Maya Land safe, Arezu. I'll be sure to inform Arita that both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy Team helped save our Saluna. You did well, Nami. All our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit... It was a fun day for me, but now it's about time I be on my way. Listen, you know me. I'm Adaman, the leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship Almighty Sinnoh, the ruler of time. Time is all about change, and we can't live in fear of that. We can only try to help the time we live in change for the better. Something tells me helping you folks out will help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, Nami. I think I'll stay and talk to the Lilligan for a while. You know, she'll go, lil, 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 lil. And then I'll be like, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> what happened, Lilligan? How'd a kind-hearted Pokemon like you end up all frenzied, huh? No, it's not like I'm perfect. I hid things and lied and couldn't even keep you safe. I'm real sorry about everything. Aw, oh, shake a shake a shake in my head. <laughs> Liddy! <laughs> a shake a shake a shake a shake. <laughs> all right, report to Commander Kamado. Let's go. Go back to a camp. Gonna be like, hey man, we did it. And he's gonna be like, yo, that's pretty cool. You're a real wonder. I saw light disappearing into the space time rift. Quelled another frenzied Pokemon, have you? This is just, he's beautiful. He's beautiful, look at this man. Look at that man bun. I can't get over it. I won't get over it. I love the male designs of this game. <laughs> We still don't know what's causing the lightning that Frenzy sees Pokemon, but you, you just go on rescuing them without even a hint of trepidation. You might even change the entire course of history here in Hisui, and I definitely want to be in the good books with someone like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. You got it, Volo. Beautiful blonde man with the golden locks ears. I will say... The one- something I wish was better in this is that there's really no slapping tunes quite yet. Smashing! Let's head back to the village then. The commander will be wanting a report. I want new hairstyle options. 
Please tell me there's some new ones. Hey, Mr. Mochi Man. How you doing? Found hair by the scent of my mochi, did you? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat such masterful mochi when you come for dinner later. But first, don't you owe Kamado a report? Your meal can wait. Hey, dude. How's your, how's your warm pool doing? How goes the surveying? We're getting along, getting along great here, as you can tell. Look at this warm pool. This stupid thing. Wait, what's happening, Beautifred? Oh, shit, is it gonna, gonna evolve? Oh! Beautifred evolved! Finally, it's become Silcoon. Just a bit longer and it'll blossom into Beautifly. You can do it, Beautifred. And now it's a Cascoon. <laughs> so you successfully calmed Lilligant. Why can't I have this man's outfit? I just have to look like a forest spirit. <laughs> oh, excellent. There may well be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time. Then frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from the same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning, isn't that right? We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond Im Im I'm sorry, what was that last word? Impugnating? Okay, cool. We're just gonna move on. There you go. Piping hot potato mochi, fresh from the stove. Now this is life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi with Fritz. Why did I go Scottish? Now this is the life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research, and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? Sure, it's nice. Yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research or with carving out a life here? Oh, right. Have this flashy new recipe, Nami. It ought to scatter these gloomy thoughts. For scatterbangs? Um, scatterbangs. Come now, don't worry yourself so, my boy. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you will find your way. These words are worth taking to heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. You got it, man. We'll do it. We got it. It's great. Shut up. Shut up. I'm great at accents, okay? <laughs> I definitely never screw up an accent. I'm so consistent. I can stay in one forever. Watch this. I'm gonna talk in a Bronx accent for the next rest of the stream. Won't even be a problem. I don't even know if this is a Bronx accent right now. It kind of sounded like Pittsburgh for a second. <laughs> uh, no, that's the horizon I think he was talking about. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna hold this voice. I can do it. I'm definitely not gonna slip into any other kind of voice. <laughs> Morning, sleepyhead. And now Rose is from the Bronx. <laughs> You'll never guess what. I'm gonna start working at the hairdresser shop. Oh, hell yeah. Now you'll be able to try out my original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? That is super exciting. Oh, I'm still gonna be Lilligan's warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends. But I can make it work, don't you worry. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. We got it. We're good. We got it. We can nail this accent. <laughs> Shit. It's so hard to hold an accent. I don't even know what my natural voice sounds like. Like, what my dialect sounds like I'm from. But, uh... Yeah. Anyway, come on over to the hairdressers when you can, Nami. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. Dude, I'm coming there right now. I am pleased that you have found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. Mr. Kamado, sir... Uh, so, about the whole Ursula Luna situation. If you are to work here in Jubilife Village, you are family to us, no matter who you are or where you're from. Welcome, Arezu. Yay! She cute. She's a little cutie pie. And you, Nami, you will come with me. To Prelude Beach! Let's go! <laughs>